Good morning. This is the Green Man here at the Phoenix Public Market. We're it's uh they're open as you can see every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and we're on the corner of Central and Pierce on the northeast corner. All right, so I think it's time for us to head on in and show you guys what this market is like and what it's all about. And we're going to go talk to three vendors today. And these guys are really great because they're all working together. Um, they're utilizing each other's products. And it's really great. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Uh, so we're going to see Anthony today with Los Muertos Salsas, where chips go to die. And then we're going to head over to Brian with the Proper Beast, which they do, uh, obviously, they do a lot of uh, pork products. The guy even renders his own lard, so I'm going to ask him a little bit more about that process. They make sausages and all sorts of great stuff, and it's all local Arizona-raised pork. And then after that, we're going to head to F Mitch with Fiscalani's where they make locally produced cheeses out of Modesto, California. But as you can see, this is a really great market. There's a lot of misters here to keep everything cooled down. It's, it literally feels about 15 degrees cooler in here, at least 10 degrees cooler. So it's really nice. They got a great covered parking area that they implement up next to their canopies. We're coming up to Los Muertos with Anthony from Los Muertos, where chips go to die. That's pretty great, man. How's it going, Anthony? Good, how are you today? Pretty good, man. So uh, what got you into making salsas for the community? Um, I did salsa contests all around Arizona and just had so much good feedback from uh, people asking where they could buy it. So I kind of got the wheels turning in my head and you know, started uh, doing farmer's markets. Uh, I do all different flavors, so um, a lot of times I, I use a lot of local ingredients. I do a lot of collaborations with other vendors at markets. Um, so uh, just like the peachy berry is a collaboration with the peachy berry people right next to me. Um, and yeah, we so actually sold out of that today. That's why there's not that much in the sample container there. Oh, wow. So that's like, that could be an award winner, right? It actually did win uh, first at my Nana Salsa Challenge this year. So. Oh, well, there you go. This is actually a peach peachy berry. Let me get you a chip here. And these are... We're going to kill this chip. <laughs> these are actually uh, our uh, brand of chips. We call them Chipacabra. Chipacabra? Why is it? Because of Chupacabra? Chupacabra, yeah. So it's 100% ground corn chip, uh, salt and oil, no preservatives. I'm going to do this the green man style. So what I do is I take a bite of chip. There you go. Straight shooting. Wow. That's peach with peachy berry. So the peaches help kind of, you know, kind of even it out. I wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah, the peachy berries are, are tart but sweet, but the, the peaches kind of round it off. Hey, man, you did an awesome job. Thank Great you. job. Thank you very much. All right. I'm here with Brian with the proper beast, and we're going to try some really cool stuff. Everything comes from uh, locally sourced pork, correct? It's all Arizona-raised pork, no antibiotics, no hormones, and we don't add any uh, preservatives or fillers. That's great, man. What 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 got you into like caring about the pig and getting pork out to the community? Well, just doing it the right way. Um, there's a lot. I love sausage. I love you know all the that stuff. But there's so much out there that's just filled with junk. And so I wanted to do something that nobody else was doing in the valley. And so I um, worked on recipes and gradually we're adding more as we go. And it's just all. Uh, it's been great. Well, I'm excited to try it now. So, well, yeah, what do we got? We're going to need a sample today. So this is the Italian heat sausage and our Italian sweet mixed together with some tomatoes. Oh. And uh, on a Los Muertos chip because we're working together. Yeah, see, that's what I love about these guys. All three of the people we we're talking to today actually kind of feed off of each other. They share products, and they're just combining things to make their stuff better. It's all that's what it's all about. So, um, what what inspired you to make this sauce? Well, it's just our it's just our sausage and tomatoes. There's nothing added to it other than the um, Italian heat. Both of the heat and the sweet. We use Arizona Angel red wine to give it extra flavor. Really all nice. I can say is that it's like comforting. Oh, good. 
I just feel like I'm home. Like when I eat that, like it brings me home. You know, it's like oh. Yeah, I grew up with a, a lot of Italians where I grew up, and this is like a good home cooked. But this is really good meat. You can tell it's super, super moist. Yeah, the farmers that we work with, they're great. They do a really nice job. It's a small family farm west of Buckeye. They own the meat shop in South Phoenix, um, and they just do a great job. They really care for the animals. It's not like a big corporate farm where nobody cares and they're all, you know, the animals have room to move. They're well cared for. The whole process is fantastic. Thanks so much, Brian. You did an awesome Thank job. You. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, man. I'm here with Mitch from Fiscalini. Mitch, how's it going? Good, real good. So. So what got you started? How would you guys get involved with doing the cheese? Uh, a friend of ours, her father actually owns the dairy up in Modesto, California. And uh, she started this market about 10 years ago. And she worked it for a couple years. And then the Scottsdale market opened up. And she asked us if we'd want to do this market. And I know John Fiscalini owns the dairy really well. And I'm like, yeah, we'll give it a try for a while. And so six years later, we're still down here selling cheese every Saturday. Wow, that's awesome, man. So do you guys have a lot of people that just keep coming back every week? We do. We have a lot of regulars that come in. And uh, once you've once you've tasted our cheese and, uh, you know, the fact that it's a raw cow's milk and it's an aged process, the flavor is so much more intense than anything you buy in a store that's pasteurized that people come back for the quality of the cheese. Right, okay, now I'm really excited to try this cheese. So you get to try, you get to let me try two cheeses we get to talk about today. So pick, let's, pick. let's go with the bandy trap cheddar. The bandy trap cheddar is what we're most known for. It's aged 18 months. It's a medium sharp cheddar. This cheese in 2014, they had the world cheese tasting in England. We sent three wheels over there. And at the end of the week, when they were done testing and uh, sampling all the cheeses, this cheese was voted one of the top 16 cheeses in the world. In the whole world? In the whole world. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I wonder who won. Kick, it's kind of nice when you go kick the English cheddar's butts. <laughs> oh. That's good. See, now, it doesn't taste like there's, like, salt or anything added. Or, like, no, it's all natural. Come back, sample some cheese anytime you want. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much. All right, all right guys, thank you. You did yeah. a great job. Thanks, all right, man. guys, so that's it. That was... Uh, Phoenix Public Market today. Um, like I said, come down here every Saturday. They're on the north east corner of Pierce and Central. Come on down and visit, sample away. I mean, you can literally get filled up here just sampling. I know a lot of people that they'll go to Costco on the weekends just so they can go around and get a bunch of samples. <laughs> Don't go to Costco, come here. You're gonna love it. You're gonna find something you wanna buy or you might find that right gift for somebody. And you're gonna, best of all, support a local business person who they also think locally when you pay them they try to keep the money as local as possible and it keeps our entire economy a lot wealthier because the money doesn't leave the city it stays here much longer so thanks a lot for watching again this is green man with farmers market on demand we really appreciate you guys watching please like and share the video and stay tuned for more oh don't forget to go on and subscribe to our events on Farmers Market On Demand Facebook page so that you can be notified every time that we're going to have a show. We create an event and it'll tell you when, where, and what time we're going to have a show. Thanks a lot.